at the time that I started doing work in vitamin D, we knew that it was a risk factor for developing MS, but it wasn't clear if it was important for folks who already had the disease. So what we've been able to show over the last few years is that in fact, people with MS who have lower levels of vitamin D do seem to have more attacks, more new white spots show up on the MRI scan, and uh, more loss of brain tissue. So sometimes when we think we understand a cause and effect, we don't really have the full picture. What if vitamin D is actually harmful though? It's really a hormone, a steroid hormone, and it affects a lot of processes in the body. So it's definitely possible that it could be doing something exactly the opposite of what we think. So we're in the middle of enrolling in a, in a large study sponsored by the National MS Society. We'll take a look at the data and see if the people who got higher levels of vitamin D supplementation had fewer uh, MS outcomes that we don't like, such as relapses and new spots on MRI, compared to those who got a recommended daily allowance of the vitamin D. And that's why we think it's really important before we just give a blanket recommendation to take vitamin D supplements to make sure that it's doing what we think it should be doing.